Sasha Baron Cohen dishes his Les Mis co-stars, Ben Affleck gets a standing ovation, and Jodie Foster comes out as gay. Hey guys, I'm Elena Scantlin, and HollywoodLife.com has the most memorable moments from Sunday night's Golden Globe Awards. Comedy stars and nominees Tina Fey and Amy Poehler did not disappoint as this year's Golden Globes host. Although Best Original Song nominee Taylor Swift may be the only one to disagree with us after this joke halfway through the show. You know what, Taylor Swift, you stay away from Michael J. Fox's son. <laughs> or go for it, or go for it. No, you. she needs some me time to learn about herself. But they weren't the only SNL alums getting big laughs that night. Will Ferrell and Kristen Wiig teamed up to present the award for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy. And while they could have been more prepared for the job, we're really glad they weren't. Love Silver, Jennifer Lawrence. J Law. Oh, love her. Silver lining. Playbook. Oh Playbook. my gosh. And the, the silver. silver. I thought it was an animated film. I know film. the silver that she's, she's collected, collected. She's and over that time. and they try to take it and she and comes And she says, in. "No, that's she's... my cookbook." Yes. Now that Bradley Cooper is single again, there was one woman at the show who was calling dits on the Best Actor nominee. Hollywood Foreign Press Association President Dr. Aida Hakla O'Reilly. Allow me to say three little words to Bradley Cooper. Call me, maybe. Sasha Baron Cohen is known for making a scene at various award shows, and the Golden Globes wasn't any different as he took to the stage, armed with a stiff drink and plenty of jabs for his lamest co-stars. Russell Crowe had four months of singing lessons. That was money well spent. And 25 years after winning her first Golden Globe for The Accused, Actress Jodie Foster was honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award for outstanding contributions to the world of entertainment. She chose that moment to officially come out to the world as gay. I already did my coming out about a thousand years ago, back in the Stone Age. But now, apparently, I'm told that every celebrity is expected to honor the details of their private life with a press conference, a fragrance, and a primetime reality show. She went on to thank who she called one of the greatest loves of my life, her ex-partner of 20 years, Sidney Bernard. Other memorable moments from the night include Ben Affleck's Best Director win for Argo, which got a standing ovation, a mustachioed Tina Fey posing as a fake Best Actor nominee, and ex-pres Bill Clinton introducing Lincoln. I'm Elena Scantlin. To stay up to date on everything Hollywood, check out HollywoodLife.com and be sure to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first. I'm Haley Steinfeld and you're watching ENTV. Hi, my name is Kiernan Shipka and you're watching ENTV. Aubrey Plaza, ENTV. I just touched it with my mouth, sorry. <laughs>